I'm Charlie from CookingSecretsForMen.com. Today, I am in beautiful Leland, Michigan, at our cottage on Lake Leonal. That's Lake Leonal behind me. Or just other ways, Lake Michigan. Today, we're not cooking, but we're going to do a product review. The product review of the Chef Temp's Final Touch X10 Professional Grade Cooking Thermometer. It's a really neat little product that we'll get to. But before we do the product review, a little shameless plugging on my part. Please visit our website at cookingsecretsformen.com. We are ranked as one of the top 30 men's cooking websites on the internet, holding steady at number 16, and still ahead of the fabulous Alton Brown. Alton lately has been plugging his Good Eats program on the Food Network. It's actually a pretty good show. Volume 4 of Good Eats is currently available for purchase. So please support Alton so it keeps him away from updating his website and not passing me. And as usual, a shout out to Jesse at Beer, Barbecue, and Baseball. And Barbecue is BBQ. Beer slash BBQ slash Baseball on YouTube. Um, that's just a list for, as far as I'm concerned, of three of my favorite things. Uh, Jesse does beer reviews, cooks barbecue, and talks about baseball. So it's a great channel to check out. So we're going to go ahead and go inside and do our product review of the Chef Temp's Final Touch X10 professional grade cooking thermometer and we'll see you inside. Hi, so we're back inside in the kitchen and this is the Chef's Temp Final Touch X10 professional grade cooking thermometer. I think most of us would agree that the correct temperature is critical to serving great food. Your temperature probe needs to be both fast and accurate. I think I found the perfect kitchen thermometer. The Final Touch X10, it's the world's fastest thermometer, according to Chef's Temp. You can read the temp in one second, and that's very, very cool. Now, it's given a very specific set of instructions on how to make a video about this product, some of which I will honor, some not so much. However, I will give an honest assessment of the thermometer, as I've done with all my product reviews. I played around with it, and I must say I was impressed. So the first thing, <coughs> coming out of the box, I have a manual, tells you a lot about the product, um, food safety, tells you how to calibrate if needed, um, we're not going to need that, but the what you do is it's out of the box ready to go. So all you have to do is turn the, the probe and it opens up. Huh? It's got a very nice large screen that's very easy to read, as you can see. Um, the glare doesn't really affect anything other than this video screen. Um, it's easy to see in both sunlight and inside. It's got an auto, um, auto rotation, so when I turn this around, it automatically rotates to this way. So for us normal people right-handed and then for the weird people who are left-handed it rotates from side to side any kind of awkward angle that you have any kind of left-handed or right-handed problems this is a great great little tool All right, it's got a long battery life uh, company says 3,000 hours of battery life, or about three to five years, uh, depending on your usage. So if you're a normal home chef, home cook, this should last you close to five years, because most of us are not using a, a temperature probe every day for everything. Also, it's got a magnetic back. Find something magnetic. All right. It's got a metal top to pan. This sticks to it. This is good if you're on the side of the grill, side of your oven. You don't want to put it on the top part of the oven, but this is a pretty cool feature. And it's waterproof too. Uh, it can withstand up to three feet of water for up to, yeah, up to 30 minutes. So it's a pretty cool kitchen gadget. I really like it. So now let's see it in action. We're gonna cook a steak and the company suggests using an ice bath to show you that it measures 32 degrees. So we'll, we'll do that too. All right, so we're gonna try out the Chef Temp's Final Touch X10. Got our pan heated, got a 
nice piece of ribeye here. Put some Montreal steak seasoning on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the pan. Put some seasoning on top. And here's our thermometer down here. It's magnetized. What I'm gonna do is give us a temp right now. 62 degrees, so that's the temp that we're going to start at. I really do like this thermometer. It is a great piece of equipment for the kitchen, and for, for several uses, I think it's one of the best things that uh, we have. So I'm going to show you one more time that we can put this little magnet on the... It just sits there. A little too close to the fire, but it is magnet. We're going to cook our steak. We'll test it about halfway through when we turn it, and then we'll get to our final temp. So we're going to go ahead and turn it. And we used our chef's temp thermometer right in the middle there. Going down. See how quickly that reads? That would tell us. Got a little ways to go. Let's go in at a angle so you can also see it on camera. And we're at 145, which is medium rare. So we're going to head and take this off, and then we're going to do an ice bath. All right, so we cut into it, and I want you to see that it's nice and pink, medium rare. So when the temperature on the probe said 145, we took it out, and that's medium rare, and that's beautiful steak. The uh, Chef's Temp Final Touch X10 worked perfectly. All right, for the ice bath, they had some pretty specific instructions on how to do it. Fill the thing with ice and then water and don't touch the sides. So we'll put it in, you can see the thermometer is in 32. So what we proved is that ice is cold. All right, so we're back outside after our testing of the Chef Temp's Final Touch X10 Professional Grade Thermometer. That's a lot to say. So I wanna give this a wholehearted endorsement. This is a wonderful item um, it is very effective, and it's a great tool to utilize in the kitchen for a variety of, of things. Um, the price is, I don't think, very high, and I'll have a link down in the description where you can, you can purchase it. Uh, I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate everyone's support. Visit Chef Temps and pick yourself up one of these uh, thermometers, these temperature probes. Uh, check out Jesse at Beer, Barbecue, and Baseball. And go help Alton Brown out and give him uh, some love, um, but not on his website because we don't want him moving up there. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. It's very, very... Um, um, I should really write these things down. Today I'm in beautiful Leland, Michigan at our college on our college. Also, it's got a magnetic back. Find something magnetic. If that were magnetic, that would work. All right. Magnetized. Not working there. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hi.